Hi you guys, today is August 20th, uh, 2021, and I'm going to do uh, try to do another updated reading on um, the unidentified uh, person, young man, the, uh, John Doe, Long Beach, California, 1978. Now I did do a reading uh, prior I'm just going to see what more I can get. I'm going to be using the Southern Gothic Oracle. Uh, I was using this the other night and found it to be quite interesting. So I'll give it a shot. And if this uh, deck doesn't simply work out, again, this is the Southern Gothic Oracle, um, then I will change. Okay, let me just get something. Okay, so I just want to um, give you some details about uh, this young man that was found um, on a street, dumped. Then nobody has claimed uh, him as part of their family or missing. Um, Long Beach, John Doe, 1978, is a white male. He was between the ages of 15 to possibly 23 years old. I will include some pictures at the end of this um, post-mortem, I might. They don't, they aren't bad or anything. Um, no, I won't do that. I don't want. Uh, if you want to, you can you can see them online. I won't include that. I don't think that's actually a good idea. But uh, there, you can see them. Just Google and you'll see them. But he was clearly, the point being, uh, a very well looked after person. He was obviously living in a, um, you know, had a home, this kind of thing. He was well cared for, looked after. So Ignacio wanted me, his name is Ignacio uh, Feminius, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that beautiful last name correctly, Ignacio, Feminius. Femenius, um, was wanting me to have a, another look, and I agree with him. I believe that this young man left his home. He may have snuck out if he was underage or, you know, still living uh, under his parents or guardians, you know, rules. And I think he head to this nightclub. I, I agree with Ignacio's ideas exactly. I think um, this was his little secret place he liked to, to go to. And I think, especially during those times, 1978, I'm telling you, um, if you were a young person, or even for that matter, older, to still be very um, out about who you were, if you were LBTGQIA, you know, uh, there was there's a lot of uh, secretiveness about it. So I always feel like this young man went out uh, be to do as he did because there was shame around it. And he was of, of, of just coming of, you know, coming close to being an, an adult, not like a young adult. And this was kind of like an adventure, you know, go out and, and meet people. But I believe also, as Ignacio said, that he likely died in his predator's car. Um, he was strangled, 
unfortunately, to death. Less than 24 hours of the discovery of his body, he was found face down on the pavement of Division Street in Long Beach. Um, his hair, as you can see, is brown and extended below his ears. His eyes were hazel. He was between 5'7 and 5'11 in height and weighed between 130 to 145 pounds. So he was fairly slender yet, but for, well, I, I would still say, you know, pretty, a, a little on the leaner side, but well proportional to height. They noted that he had a scar just above his right eyebrow. Hmm. Furthermore, the right hand of his right hand had been stamped with the word paid. And I think that that was Ripples. I do. I think it was someplace, if not Ripples, like Ripples. You know, you go in, I, I, this is, he definitely was in some kind of club because that's what they do. They just have a generalized stamp that will say, you know, paid or whatever, or like a little symbol uh, after you pay your, what was that called? Um, you know, the fee to get in. And I think t the predator probably, well, could have paid for his fee to get in. But I believe they definitely crossed paths at a bar. Some people think it could be linked to that he could have attended a festival or a party. That's possible, but nah, I really think it's more nightclub. That just, from my own experience, back in the um, day, <laughs> back in the 80s, uh, before I had children and did things like that, um, and went to clubs, that was the, uh, you know, fee, the get in the door fee, so to speak and usually to a place that had live entertainment um, or dancing, you know, this kind of uh, bar club. So I really firmly believe, and I'm sure that if you just asked some patrons of Ripples back, you know, from that time period, if they can remember, I'm betting you that was their stamp. I, it, it was close to the location um, of the dumping site. So I, I really believe, yeah, somebody picked him up from there and unfortunately um, strangled him. Authorities don't believe he was a runaway or transient because again, he was, he has, his clothing was in good, was clean and, and well looked after and, you know, it just, you know, he had all the appearances of, of someone that is able to look after themselves in a home and, a, you know, and his teeth and all of that were. But you know what? I guess they didn't, they didn't take his dentals. There's some weird, weird stuff, but you know, you find that with older cases where... I think stuff goes missing, and I tend to think, well, I don't know, I shouldn't project and, until I, I, I do think that some people may not have been as interested in uh, this crime because of the possibility of this kid being homosexual. I do. I feel it. But I feel like there were others, more people that do want to know in law enforcement. Um, it's just that at the time, sometimes having people like, you know, you don't want to have people like that. They, they don't belong in law enforcement. Way too many of, of them that don't aren't motivated to do their work on people because they're too busy judging them. But there's also many, many more 
dad give so much of their lives to find out what happened, who someone is. So there's more good in the lot, I believe, than bad. So my question is to look at the home life. What was his home situation? Did he um, what was yeah, let's just take a look at his home life. See what we get. And I'm just going to put that there. All right. Okay, let's see what we get. I realize we're 11 minutes in, but it is what it is. Okay, the mojo bag. There is justice, yeah, karma covering him. This was a karmic situation, okay? So it's really not addressing so much the home, but what's coming up is there's justice on this case yet to be had. I feel like not only does, of course, this young man spirit want justice, but there's so many other people that read about his case and think, dang, that seems like this is such a solvable case. Why hasn't someone come forward? And I, I honestly think it's shame. I do think there are people that know who he is. I do. I've seen it uh, in, in a few readings I did that I took notes on. Um, but they don't want they didn't want the trouble, some of them, and I think some people were ashamed. So, I don't know. Let's just continue on. Again, this is an entertainment channel. All my readings are alleged and for entertainment purposes only. Hmm. Yeah, well, and he's crossed by and has Live Oak, which is reliability, longevity. I, I do feel like he did have a safe, he had a family. Um, but they were also perhaps part of an issue. I'm sure they would like to know exactly what happened to him. They've got to be curious, no matter if they know that this is him or not. It shows he's got a strong This to me feels like ancestors and family. But let's just, let me just lay these down. Communication, prophecies, the mockingbird. Again, okay. Pair of shoes, coupling, partnership. I believe the Mockingbird, with the, with the, one of the reasons they call it the Mockingbird is because it can mimic the sounds, the cries, the songs of other birds, apparently. That's what I read. And um, the feeling I'm getting here is that, you know, this part of his life 
yeah, he definitely had family. This is the mason, mason jar, mentorship, protection. Uh, shows that he came out, that, that it, he, he did. He, he had a, a stable place of home. But I think in the area of preference, I think he didn't, he wasn't maybe completely forthcoming about his preference and his natural orientation because perhaps it would not have been welcomed. So that's what I'm feeling from these cards. That's what they're wanting to speak of. So I do get a home, I do get a family, I do get he had protection. But I felt like, I feel like there was a very, he, he was sheltered a lot. Tendency here with that, that once they really didn't, they, it could have been that they were a little too strict. And when you do that with kids, kids, are, it's difficult to be a parent, but some kids will, um, you know, really rebel. Shadow work awakening. Yeah, I really feel like this is a, a obvious case where this poor young man had to, I believe, or felt like he had to hide um, his part of who he was because of family. So I believe that um, he had to pretend that he had interests that he didn't have. That must have been fun. Awakening. This makes me feel like he was just beginning uh, to explore that side of, who, of, of, his, of his own nature and That's what he was out doing. But I think he was having to do it secretively. Um, he does want justice. Wealth, prosperity. You know, he may have even come from, and this is indicative, the Black Eyed Peas, of him coming from... Um, of a comfortable, I believe, maybe even well-to-do family. So it could, again, that's where I kept getting the word shame in the notes that I was writing. I kept getting that. I think that there's somebody also quite possibly from a reading that I just did before this that may recognize him from school. Okay. That's interesting. He's showing us wealth and abundance and you know that he does or did can't come from a uh, wealthy, I think, household. And there's some conjecture that he may have been from Orange County. I have a feeling that could be. And now that I just got the wealth and the prosperity, Orange County is is known to be a, like a, a wealthy conservative area in uh, Southern California, a county in Southern California. Um, and I feel like this is a nod in that kind of direction, or at least that kind of home, wealthy, conservative. Oh my goodness, yes. Now, here with the axe is the division, the thing that 
in the environment separates. He was separated from that. He may have, he may have, this also may have been why they did not um, identify him. I, but you know, why would you, I, the scandal, I just get the scandal. Oh, come on. Okay. Hopes and fears. He has the crystal grotto, which is like a sacred space or energy. Just let me look at that card in a minute. And the final outcome is vanity set. Yeah, this definitely, he was definitely self-awareness. I think that he will, I think he will be identified. There is clarity here. And I think we are dealing with the reason why he hasn't been identified is some, some aspect of shallowness in people as well. Now, again, you know, you notice how I felt like scandal and shame and then I get the vanity quote unquote set, you know, about appearances as well. Um, there may have been someone that cut him off, either cut him off after death and, and finding out that, that, hey, that's my son, but I'm not going to, because I, I'm too ashamed. This is what it feels like. Wealth. Let me see that crystal grotto thing. That was kind of the hopes and fears, but, you know, it's important to look at them all. And I know the Crystal Grotto has to do... What number is that? Eleven. Master number. It's an auspicious card. Um... Place of readiness. Soul has summoned itself to um, the floodgates of divine knowledge. Ah, he's hoping for, I think, new ideologies are present at higher frequencies. Enter the crystal shrine, whatever, sounds a little woo woo, but okay to activate your divine gifts. Consider a prayer or sacred invocation. Um, 11 is an angel number, magical being, and you have infinite potential. Again, I think he's showing us a part that he was just becoming aware of who he was. And I believe we're looking at a good probability that he may have gone unidentified out of some shame by those who may have possibly recognized him. And also, I, I just feel that there is a sense of him having wealth, having a very specific, uh, strict, conservative family, been around with the live oak, that feels like it's a family that may have been around for some time in that area, or they have, um, it could even be like a family business, I, I kind of get. You know, like a, like a, where dad's a CEO or, you know, some professional wealth. But you notice when I get the issue of partnership and I get that mockingbird, uh, which deals with communication and also, but it's also mocking. I, you know, this, I really feel like he had to be, act like somebody he was not. 
uh, around his family and he was just going this was a bit of an adventure of course to go out uh, and be in a place where he felt like he could be more of himself however he met with the quote unquote the axe in his environment which the axe is in this in this gothic um, southern gothic oracle <clears throat> I, I opened right to it number 14 it is division and in, in lessening um, so this is a means of being able to lessen or cut It is a lessening influence. If you draw a card of great success next to it, it kind of lessens the success. There is something that is cut down, compromise, moderation. Well, I believe his life was just taken. This is just Unfortunately, someone just took his life um, while he was just trying to discover who he was and become more self-aware. Let me pull a couple extra cards because I do think he had, it, I really feel like a strong sense of wealth here. Um, ah, the blessed child. he's really been done wrong by because I think there are people that knew who he was but were shamed of him or shamed of the situation in which he was found lost innocence yeah now he did not deserve emotions manifestation the bayou I believe this young man has a lot of emotions that he didn't get a chance to live out his life or to be identified. I think it has not kept his spirit in a very happy state, although he has, I feel like, managed to, um, you know, transition. But the fact that in the manner in which he passed and not being identified not pleased with it wants justice perseverance and speaking truth I think okay this makes me feel like in time yet someone will come forward or the truth will come out of who he is for sure curiosity and perseverance I, I feel like perhaps more to the pressure from the outside community to know who who he is and also, I'm sure, people in law enforcement that are working his case. Um, looking at this, I feel like it, this case will break and they will find out either someone will come forth with a tip or it's possible because they took his fingerprints um, they could maybe use DNA to find out who he's connected to. And it does take them a very long time once they do get a sample to process that. Discernment. Mm hmm. Dashed hopes, morning. Yes. He really disappointed 
I think, a family member. This is not only his own dashed hopes, but I think it's part of the reason why. Because I don't think the family wanted this to deal with this. Somebody in the family didn't want to deal with this scandal. And I feel like probably the, whoever was the head of the household. And they may have regretted that. So we're dealing with self-worth, dashed hopes, mourning, and then there's love. This young man just wanted love and needed healing within. I think because of the shame that was still connected to being who you were, if you are gay or part of the, you know, LBGTQIA community. I definitely feel like that. I feel like I'm getting a strong sense of a male in the family feeling that this young man let, let him down. It could also be this young man's own sense also of dashed hopes, for sure. But I also believe family, too. Third eye, new perspective, vanity, pride. Yeah, I think that there's somebody in the family that's going to say this was not a good thing. This was based on they're going to there's a there's going to be a change, or there is going to be a change in mind, and um, with the recognition that this is just out of pride, out of ego, their own ego. Um, and they really need to set their ego aside. I think there's family that knows or members within his family that know that is their missing family member. But out of ego and I think shame around his, his um, orientation, I believe they've not come forward. And I believe they will change their mind here and realize that is ego and, and, and it is shallow and, and it's not correct. Mediation, intercession, and luck and chance. Yeah, I, I believe this young man will end up being identified but it's through the perseverance of all of us the the public and the dedicated uh, de uh, detectives that work these cases um, and people getting the guts and the self-awareness to change their mind and do the right thing. I still see it ahead a bit. It's, maybe it'll be a sibling or someone like that. Um, I can't imagine uh, that this young man's, I mean, he would be, you know, it was 1978, so his parents, I'm sure, are passed. But, um, good possibility, anyways. But I believe very, very strongly there could be cousins, there could be siblings um, of that, because of the, that tree, that family tree, it makes me feel like there's a lot of family. And there could be yet somebody from family that I think might come forward yet. Be able to figure it out and come forward and do the right thing. Because I do feel like um, shame 
because he didn't follow his dad's shoes. I am also getting that too a lot. I keep being drawn back and I know that's for like they're saying coupling or whatever. But um, I'm feeling more like from the father's point of view or a family's point of view he wasn't honest. And I think it was a rather a shock to them or shock to the family and I, I, I think some I just feel like somebody knew it was him but they just didn't want to claim him because we're being shown a vanity and pride. But there's a change of mind somewhere. And somebody intercedes and comes forward. And there really is an aspect that says luck, but I feel like that luck, quote unquote, is spirit that helps to be able to shift things as they can into place once we do certain things. We are here to do things, you know? We're not just... So if if someone's then looking for, you know, to, to identify him, then spirit can, I think, will, will can kick in, kick it up a notch for him. And I do see that happening, but it is yet ahead it is yet in you know could be it could be a year or more but I see it happening I do see he was from a wealthy family um, I'm going to now ask if he was I'm just going to ask directly but with a different deck if he was the victim of Randy Kraft who was a, a known to Frequent Ripples bar. You know what? I'm going to use the Haunted House Tarot. And I'm, <clears throat> firstly, I'm going to ask if he went to Ripples that night. Let's try that too. Okay. Did Long Beach John Doe go to Ripples? Was that where he went. Did Long Beach John Doe go to Ripple's Bar that night? Is that where he got the stamp? I, I get yes with, without the cards, but Go to Ripples. Was he going there? Did he go to Ripples that evening? <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. I believe yes. Um, this is being this is being alienated. This is feeling re like also this is also being found outside, and he was. <clears throat> but I think this is also the card for that he did. Yeah, again with the family thing. His family thought less of that lifestyle. And, and I hate to say lifestyle, but that's what they thought of it. And it's not a lifestyle. It is no more a lifestyle than my heterosexuality is. I mean... Oh, yeah, it's, no, you know, but they made him feel really bad. He's still talking about family, and he's saying that he felt, made him feel really bad about that aspect of his own nature. He could have been more recently estranged, even, but it could have just been that this was also um, him having to kind of sneak out to do it because it was not acceptable. Okay, I'm going to put the base card down. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This is a sense of security.
And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Money, money, money. Um, to me, this could even be the young man. Studious. Hard worker. Yes. He was going. He went. That's where he was headed. He meets a king of swords. I'm going to have to look up Randy Craft. Alright. Um, very sexual. Kind of an energy. Can also be flirty, too. Um, but it's lively. And it does have a sexual notation. Secret. He was keeping it a secret where he was going. It was a secret. Again, the family aspect here. This could be even a father figure that didn't approve, that he especially had in mind, that he didn't want to know, or this could be the person that, and probably the person that took his life. But because it was next to the family thing, I'm thinking, was this him thinking on his dad and thinking, I gotta sneak out so this guy doesn't know that, and who's this guy? Maybe his dad. Could be his dad and his mom. This is the party scene, right? He liked to party, have a few drinks. He felt isolated. I think his family was very controlling and had expectations. I feel like there's something about school here and his studies. And his parents, I think, up in his business. And, yeah, I think he wanted some freedom to be who he was and to do what a lot of people that age like to do, party and, and meet other people. But we get judgment. Again, I believe, and look, the child here. Um, I believe, again, that it's, yes, he was headed there, and he was judged by his family for having, I think his family knew that this was good likelihood as him. I do. I see the family home, well-to-do, at odds with the family, though. I think fought a lot with his family about things. Couldn't be honest. And I think that that was a, a, a real problem, and possibly even for he got kicked out or was estranged uh, or feeling like estranged, if not, because there just wasn't a sense of, of to me, bonding, of being accepted by his family, which is sad. Because I feel like he was hiding who he was. And I feel like, especially from a male figure, that wanted him to follow maybe in his footsteps. And I just, yeah, again, I'm feeling a family of wealth. Yeah, he, he was, went there to Ripples. And I believe this is possibly the man who took his life, or his father also throwing a judgment, realizing that that was, or this could be like a male member of the family, if not the father, um, but this person not wanting to be part of it. Yeah. Look at that, the tower. And the delay. He didn't expect to have happened what happened to him. It 
and the and the delay I think is upsetting to him um, again people haven't looked at this case the right way and once they do it will blow their mind that's what I'm getting really blow their mind and I think we'll have one of those sudden things as well of him being identified with judgment here the tower um, the hangman I feel you know he was definitely a victim that the, that his death was swift it was sudden unanticipated this is the public arena to me wanting clarity and we will have clarity and I think he's saying this young man is actually saying to me that he appreciates the support oh from those of us that are determined to find out who he is and determined that he should be given back his name and dignity and respect despite the fact that it looks like he came from a well-to-do family that just couldn't do that for him or somebody wasn't willing to do that for him which is awful and will I think be held to those that are guilty of that will be held spiritually accountable you don't want that you want to let me tell you endure what you need to endure here because I think when once you get on the other side I just I don't know there's something about sorting it out here that's way more effectual and important and so when you don't do the wrong when you do the wrong thing here You, you're gonna you're gonna feel a lot of unpleasant things as whatever you know it's just not good I so I believe that it's we're showing that we will have clarity and it will blow our minds why he was not identified why there was this delay Definitely, a, um, I think he was in the car, was abducted, could not get out. This is restriction. And I think this is also restriction um, connected to the family, perhaps, in what they would accept. And this is grieving. Uh, yeah, I think they, there was still actual grieving, but they may have just... Um, not come forward. Ugh, I just, I just, I don't get it. It's some resistance within due to the loss. You know, there is grieving. I also feel like he could be saying that um, the person responsible for his death abducted other people and killed them as well. There was more losses. I often get victims showing me other victims that are with that are connected. This is needing help, asking for help. fighting back, trying to get away, it's activity, I think it's needing people to help him resolve, uh, there will, and I think he will get it, um, and 
and we'll be successful to get it. It's just a delay. Look at that. He's showing me somebody became disinterested and alienated, pushed, I feel like, very cold. Not only the killer, but I'm thinking the family. Um, and that he's not happy about how long it will have taken him to have been um, identified because of somebody else's pat passing of judgment on him. But he will get his name back, he's saying. And yeah, just because he went out to, to have a good time, the Three of Cups, uh, party it up and, you know, maybe meet somebody he found attractive. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but it didn't work out well, obviously. And I'm feeling like there was someone's pride in his family this person may have even drank quite a bit, but they associate, I'm, I keep getting about something about pride, that they had so much pride to their name and they wouldn't want this. I think they may have even argued with other members of the family. I don't know. This is definitely a very strong energy in, in his case that I keep picking up. And this is drinking. A, a confusion, a possibility, again, a sense of clarity. I believe that out of all the people that are missing, he'll, it, he's going to be clarified uh, as to who, who he is. He's giving me that too. I also feel like we're being shown that there's um, an issue perhaps within his family with this person who wanted to deny IDing him quite possibly with drink afterward for judging him. But there's pride, ego, keeps coming back again and again and again. And of, of, of course, the killer's ego. But this to me, it feels more like why somebody didn't come forward. And I do feel like somebody recognized him, but chose not to. There's this delay. Anyway, what it's saying is the the delay that we will that will be uncovered is mind blowing. Temperance. This is the, even the bar. There's a bar scene. See, she's pouring wine. and the lovers. Somebody picked him up from that bar. Yeah. very cold energy here with this Queen of Swords. Now it's not so much cold, but more scientific. And she has, I feel like this is like a sample. I think this is also a DNA. I feel like not only will he be identified, but who took his life will be identified. There may be traces of that person's whatever be found somehow. Maybe not, but I think this young man will definitely be identified. But it's yet to come. And one of the reasons that it's been delayed is out of pride, 
judgment on him and um, shame, I believe. Yes, but it will come to completion and he will be able to better for himself let go um, and come complete a circle, complete a cycle with the will of fortune and move on in a better way because of course he's got his name back. There isn't this unfinished business. It's better if that can, you know, come to a conclusion. And I think it will. And I don't think actually, although with the tarot timing is, I'm not great with that. I, I think in quite possibly within the next few years, we might even know who he is. So there is my reading deep dive, actually. I hope you enjoyed it. On John Doe from Long Beach, uh, 1978. And I do feel like I was able to get out a bit more. Let me know what you think. And especially you, Ignacio, and thank you for requesting an update. Make sure to hit the thumbs up, please. And I'll see you in my next live or other video that I do. Bye-bye.